Electric bill rates could go up if Tucson uh, uh, voters pass a prop that's going to fund a renewable energy project. Prop 412 would allow Tucson Electric Power to make improvements to the power grid. Gabrielle Parrish is downtown at the TEP, uh, and she's there to explain how much more people are going to have to pay for their power and more. Gabrielle. TEP says in order for it to improve the power grid here in the city, it's going to have to raise rates. So what that looks like is if you own a home or you live inside of a home, you'll be paying 93 cents extra on your power bill. If you're a small business owner, you'll be paying $2.65 extra on your bill monthly, but that's only if Prop 412 passes tomorrow. Uh, less than a dollar for a customer. Although it's a small increase, one customer tells us the timing of it all makes it that much worse as gas and food prices are already high. My power bill's already too high. I don't need it to be going up anymore. But one shopper doesn't mind the electric bill going up. I'll go along with it. I mean, a dollar is really, it could be two dollars or three dollars. So I think that's reasonable. I mean, everything else is going up, gas and all that. So yeah, I'm okay with that. This comes as Prop 412 will grant TEP permission to build an underground transmission line that will provide reliable power for customers in the city. Some of all that money will also go towards the city's climate action plan if approved. Some of it would go to fund projects uh, that are uh, outlined or described in the city's climate action and adaptation plan. Uh, those specific projects haven't been identified as of yet. By 7 p.m. tomorrow is the deadline to cash your ballot in tomorrow's special election. But if you plan to vote by mail, I'm sorry to let you know that deadline has expired, so you're going to have to turn your ballot in. So there are several locations where you can go to cast your ballot. One of those is being the Department of Housing and Community Development, along with going up to Udall Park. If you can't make it to any of those locations, head over to the Donna Liggins Recreation Center, or you can go to the El Pueblo Senior Center that's located near 6th and Irvington. But if you want to know where more locations are where you can cast your ballot in tomorrow's special election, head over to KVOA.com. We have them listed. Reporting from downtown, Gabrielle Parrish, News 4 Tucson.